How did you get that mentality of just being like, I need to get over this. Like, I need to get over myself. You know, trial and error. You know, you grow up and you make game-winning shots and it's awesome. You come back the next day and miss a game-winning shot and it's misery. And then the next day comes and you're back playing again and you understand that life has this cyclical nature where it's, you know, what you do on Monday, it's fantastic, but then Tuesday is a bad day. But guess what? There's Wednesday. So are we just supposed to live our lives like this the whole time? You know, versus just staying like this and understanding that it's really just a journey of evolution every day. It's just constant improvement, constant curiosity, constantly getting better. The results don't really matter. Uh, it's the figuring out that matters. I don't even like to use the word happiness. That's just a fleeting feeling. It can just go so up and down. I don't want to chase that feeling. It's just not a efficient way for me to live. I feel like just having peace and and really uh, simply just enjoying being alive every day is the best place for me to be. You know, I don't want to be happy and sad. Like, I don't even want to have to go through that. I just want to just kind of flow through life. I experience so much. I just want to take on every experience for what it is and enjoy it in the moment, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want to chase happiness. So I just try to stay even. The life of a successful person is not glitz and glamour, okay? It's not the glory. It's also not the shit. Some people make it sound like it's shit, like it's horrible, and like it's the worst thing ever. It's not. Are you going to have uncomfortable situations and high levels of stress and tons of situations that are gonna you know, make you feel bad and make you feel like shit and wear you out and stress you out? Yes, absolutely. You have to understand that there are gonna be times when you you know, it's low, it's bad, everything's going wrong, everything's got you stressed, everything's got you mad, everything's got you frustrated. And that could go on for a couple weeks too, even longer, it could go on for months. That's just the life of an entrepreneur, it's the life of an ambitious person. And you have to understand, everything is cyclical. You're, you're not gonna win all the time. You're not gonna succeed all the time. You're not gonna have good shit happen all the time. Just like you're not gonna have bad shit continue to happen all the time. There's highs that are super high, and there's lows that are super low. And so going through this process of growth, and you're pushing, and you're pushing, and you're pushing, and you're working, and you're doing this, and doing that, and doing this, and you feel like it's not moving. It's important that when you feel low, that you continue to execute. It's normal to have highs and lows, and they're always sick. You're gonna have days that are great. You're gonna have weeks that are great. You're gonna have days that are bad. You're gonna have weeks that are bad. And I just want you to know that that's normal because I see so many people quitting because that's what most people do. They get something, they get excited, they work hard, they do their thing, they do everything they can, and then they're like, it isn't working and they quit. Or the, the minute two or three bad things happen, they quit and they change course. And you just have to learn that when things are frustrating, when things are making you mad, when things are making you feel pissed, when you're getting to the point where you're like saying, dude, that's when you've got to stick it through. That's when you've got to push even harder. That's when you've got to make sure that even at a minimum, you're still executing on the same path that you were when you're winning, because that's what's going to push you through your breakthrough.